Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the all-new Jeep Compass Trailhawk. Before we get into this video, though, as always, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2-liter 4-cylinder that goes to an 8-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 200 horsepower and then 221 pound-feet of torque, with fuel economy being 24 around town and then 32 on the highway. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see we've got the Trailhawk decal there, and I think it contrasts nicely with the silver paint on this one. Coming down below, really sharp daytime running lights there with the headlights. You can see those are pretty dang bright. And then look at Jeep's signature front grill here with the Jeep logo at the top. And then, of course, you got the red tow hooks here on the front end because, well, Trailhawk life. And then we do have a fog light as well. And putting it all together, I do love the look of the new compass. It really looks like a mini Grand Cherokee. And if you're wondering, ground clearance for this Trailhawk package is about 8.5 inches. Well, 8.6 inches to be exact. Now coming around the side here, our tiring wheel setup is 2, 15, 65, 17 in the front and over in the rear as well. And I do like the wheel design here on the Trailhawk package. It definitely has that like aggressive off-roader appearance. Now in normal off-roader fashion, you guys can see the fender flares here are unpainted to give it a more aggressive look. Of course, we got our trail rated badge. We got the compass badge down below that has the red accenting on it, which I think looks pretty cool. Notice the mirrors are blacked out. The whole roof is also blacked out. And then here's your full side view with this compass trailhawk. Again, the contrast with the silver and the blacked out elements I think looks really cool. So here's a key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the opening for the hatch remote start, and then the Jeep logo there on the back. Now, popping into the rear, you guys can see the compass is actually pretty spacious from a storage perspective. And just like the Grand Cherokee, the button to close the hatch is inside, which is interesting. Got 12 volts down below. And if I pick up the little carpet here, so you got a spare tire underneath as well. Really cool looking taillights here on the back end. Then you guys can see all of our badges, including, of course, the Trailhawk badge. And then we actually do have a recovery point here on the back end. Parking sensors here in the rear as well. And finishing things up with the exterior again, I think that Jeep did a really good job with the styling on this new compass. Now taking a look at the door panel here, you guys can see the handle. I think that looks pretty sweet. And then we have some red stitching here again because Trailhawk life. And then there's some more storage down below. And then here are these seats. You guys can see perforated all down the center portion. Again, more of that red stitching as well. Leg room here in the back is really solid. You got a little storage pocket right here. And then you guys can see the vents on this side. And then we do have some USB action down below and then a 12 volt. And then headroom back here is also really good, actually. And of course, we have a cup holder armrest. Now, taking a look at the front door panel here, you guys can see with the red stitching down below. And look at all of the padding. All of our window controls right here, front two are automatic. We've got our mirror adjustments, and then you can see here for the Alpine sound system. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors too. Now here's the front seat, notice it says Trailhawk there, and then you can see perforated all down the center with the red stitching. We've got our power adjustments here on the side, and we got our light control over here with the fog lights. And then look at the trim here, and then the padding. Again, very Grand Cherokee-esque. So here is the steering wheel for the compass, really nice padding all around. And then if you actually see there's red stitching, which is pretty cool. Um, anyways, this has Jeep's adaptive cruise control system with the steering assist where you just have to like lightly hold your hand in the steering wheel. You don't have to like grab it constantly. And so really good system actually. And then you can see controls for the center stack, radio controls on the back, can't remember if I mentioned that or not. And then turn signal stock, and then we got our windshield wiper stock. Now here is the digital gauge clutch. You guys can see the fuel economy rating right there that has happened um, so far on the compass. Um, but anyways, with this gauge cluster, you can basically see a bunch of different bits of information on the vehicle, systems within the vehicle. Um, frankly, pretty standard stuff, or you can just make it like blow up to be a massive gauge cluster. And then you probably notice there are some different drive modes. We've got a snow mode. We also have a sand slash mud mode. And then finally we have a rock mode as well that you can go into. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera. I've got the trajectory lines turned off right now, but you do have them if you want to use them. Um, full 360 camera system, like pretty sweet setup. And you can even zoom in there as well. Now, as for the rest of the infotainment system, response time with the screen itself is pretty good. It does take a second for some menus to load up. Notice we have heated and ventilated seats as well as a heated steering wheel dual zone climate on top of that. And then if we go to the vehicle tab, 
you guys can see you can pull up the, the camera stuff so i'd say good infotainment system now down below you can see for auto stop start stability control lane departure and then you guys see for the hazard lights parking sensors and then that's your parking assist and then i do like this overall like design here again with the red stitching and then look at the padding there on the dash as well it, it definitely looks more upscale and then down below we've got our analog controls here for the radio dual zone climate controls as well and then we do have a wireless phone charging pad here and then some usb action we've got our shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission it does have a manual shift function got our parking brake this is our little drive mode select right next to it and then we do have four-wheel drive low um, as well as four-wheel drive lock we've got your hill descent control and then you can see some cup holder action here and then pretty small center console kind of reminds me of the wrangler honestly and then speaking of storage there's your glove box and then up top we get our controls here for the full panoramic sunroof and uh just darker colored headliner so this compass is uh from jeep so it doesn't have like a normal window sticker that you guys usually see in the videos but i mean it still has all the stuff that we need to see um on it like our fuel economy power all that kind of stuff anyways base price thirty five thousand, and you can see as tested this stickers for $46,290 with all of the options. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's the visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors just do it, blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off okay, so setting off in the new jeep compass trailhawk uh, it's been a pretty interesting vehicle to live with so far and to do to mention i'm going to try to put together an off-road review tomorrow i just am not sure if i'm going to have time um the weather has definitely set me back quite a bit you guys can see there's tons of snow <laughs> it's like the end of march which yeah it sometimes snows but usually not this much and so it's uh it's been interesting to say the least but it's probably all gonna melt because it's like 40 degrees outside. So uh, I guess say goodbye to the white fluffy stuff. Anyways, I will say I'm actually pretty impressed with the new compass. Okay, let's get our full acceleration here. Just so much better than the previous engine. Um, and on top of that, this gets better fuel economy than the 2.4. So they've just like, they've made the compass so much better with this powertrain and what everyone's been saying is this is what the compass should have had from the start and hey i agree with you but at least we finally have it um now now aside from that um you know when it comes to driving it, it drives really well i will say though for a small vehicle it drives surprisingly large with the handling it's you can tell it's a jeep like it's kind of like wallowy all over the place the handling which i understand like that's what jeeps are about that means it's gonna be more comfortable off-road but it's just interesting you usually don't expect that from a smaller vehicle um i've loved the adapter cruise control and steering assist that makes highway driving really easy like this has a bunch of great tech in it so it really is like a mini grand cherokee that's the best way to look at this is just a smaller grand cherokee with a smaller engine and well it costs less than a grand cherokee with that being said, I do have a couple gripes um, with this vehicle. So first off, the price point, $46,000 for this loaded up Trailhawk. I don't think this is the compass to get, to be honest. Um, the first compass that I reviewed was that high, I think it was high altitude for the package. Regardless, it was that, if you guys, if you guys watch the channel, you probably remember. It was like that one that had like everything blacked out. That was under $40,000. And I was like, this, for the tech and everything it had, I was like, this is a good value. But $46,000, I don't know. I just reviewed the new BMW X1 and that was $50,000 for a BMW that has more power than this, a more comfortable ride, ride, it handles better, a nicer interior, it has massaging seats, same tech, like everything this has plus more, and it's from a luxury manufacturer, and it's only $4,000 more. So I, I think that, um, yeah, I think this version is just a little bit, little bit too much. Again, under thirty thousand or under under forty thousand dollars, I think that's that's the price point for the new Compass. And my guess is Jeep dealers are probably gonna have to discount these off of MSRP to sell them. But regardless, huge improvements for the Compass. But the huge improvements have come with a pretty big price increase as well and so let me know what you guys think about the compass and hopefully the next review you watch in the compass for me will be an off-road review if it's not i'm sorry but uh, blame it on the snow